good morning people <clears throat> it's uh, early a.m. here and I'm currently uh, servicing uh, the family's computers again we had uh, a power uh, problem here uh, resulted in a power surge it kind of took out uh, one of my daughter's computers and it took out uh, uh, the uh, computer to the uh, boiler system in our building and here we are you know in January uh, five days without without hot water uh, um, and um, of course the power bill going right through the roof as a result of uh, trying to stay warm uh, with the uh, boilers right out in the building for five days five days um, you know uh, needless to say the wife was really annoyed and you know just prior to that uh, I had just uh, gone to the hospital. I just had come back from the hospital uh, uh, due to some kind of um, uh, internal problem. Uh, it's it seems to be healed. Praise God, you know it it, it seems to be healed now. But uh, it was serious. I mean, the pain was so excruciatingly bad. I couldn't even walk. They had to take me to the hospital in an ambulance. Uh, you know, and uh, uh, my gallbladder uh, was inflamed, but the doctor doesn't really think it is the gallbladder. Um, it had uh, it been, uh, uh, what do they call it, uh, it expanded three centimeters. It was, uh, yeah. Anyway, you know, I don't want to get into all that kind of nonsense, that kind of talk. I just wanted to explain what's been going on and just give, you know, my listeners an update. Uh, we finally have hot water, it seems. It, 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 they finally have repaired uh, the problem. Uh, thank God. Uh, you know, I've been praying about it, that uh, you know, uh, things would come through, uh, because uh, the wife was just beside herself. And uh, you know, it was all that I could do to you know, try to keep my composure. I didn't want another domestic dispute on my hands, you know, arguing over you know, um, what things are important and uh, no I'm not saying that this isn't important it's you know, having uh, hot water and heat is important but you can get through you know this too shall pass but uh, she didn't seem to share uh, the same view and, 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 I, and I gotta admit I wasn't all that impressed with the whole matter myself but uh, be that as it may uh, uh, all things, uh, uh, you know, work out for the best, uh, you know, that end well. And um, uh, so here, here it is, you know, um, uh, now uh, it is uh, uh, January the 4th, 2013. And, uh, you know, as I said before, as I told people before, uh, please, you know, uh, by the way, you don't have to be watching this video, you know, uh, it's very boring to be honest. Here, I'll put some music on for you, uh, also for you to listen to, uh, some good music here, uh, you know, um, I, I, these are non-video uh, uh, presentations, audio presentations, non-video audio presentations that I like to do from time to time, because I have a lot of friends online. And uh, they, they seem to genuinely care about me. And, uh, you know, maybe I'm fooling myself, but uh, I don't think in all cases that I am. I think some of them do because I genuinely care about my online friends. Uh, there are real people behind those keyboards with real thoughts, real feelings, real actions, and they're real human beings. So why can't I care about my online friends, you know? Even if I care at a distance, I still care. You know, God is not limited to any geographical limitation either. We should be praying for our online friends as well as uh, friends here at home and everywhere else in the world. You know, I mean, this is the thing about God. He's no respecter of persons. But anyway, I'm, you know, I'm not going to get into that uh, too deeply. I, you know, just wanted to say that... Uh, you know, thank you all, all of you, uh, for your prayers and for caring. I appreciate it, and I care about you too. Um, but uh, these are non-video uh, audio presentations 
uh, geared for you to go through your emails or do what you you know all those uh, boring robotic tasks that you must do uh, and, and give you you know uh, a little bug in your ear about you know a few things uh, while you're going through all those stuff some real food for thought if, if I may and um, I just wanted to mention that uh, I, I'm you know pushing into my mid 50s I'm not there yet I'm take you know give or take a, a few years but my, my point here is this um, <clears throat> many times throughout the course of my lifetime uh, I, I guess even when I was in my mid-twenties I had people come up to me and say things to me like you know remember that time we had that argument and um, I insisted that you were wrong well you were right and, and I'm sorry you know you know I'm not saying this to glory in, in my own righteousness, you know. My righteousness means nothing, okay. Just because I'm right about something doesn't make me uh, uh, this season's singing savior, okay. Uh, but I, I've been right about a lot of things, and I have to explain something here to you. Um, uh, when I was 11 years old, okay, um, there was a preacher man on the radio and uh, I didn't think much of it uh, uh, for some time and then I remembered the time that, that this happened and I really like to think that this possibly had something to do with it and so I just want you to know I, I'm giving God the glory here I am not you know uh, uh, taking credit for this I'm giving God the glory in, in this matter because what it was is a preacher man was preaching about how today um, at, at least today in his ter his terms, his time frame, uh, how in these days uh, wisdom and understanding were crying at the gates, calling out to the young men. And um, he, you know, the, the, he was reading uh, about, uh, I guess, some of the lamentations of Solomon. And, uh, you know, and what this preacher man declared struck me through the heart being a young man myself and 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 the, the, this the, the, he was really I think this was really anointed preaching I really wish I could have a copy of that old sermon way back you know in, in the 70s but uh, um, it really moved me it moved me to the point I mean my parents were gone I was listening to the radio and I was so moved you know, I, I, I wept profusely. I was struck through the heart. I remember this, you know, that, that wisdom and understanding were crying out to the young men in the world today, and the young men were not listening. This is what the preacher man had said. And you know, he was right. He was so right. And, um, you know, wisdom and understanding are calling out. And by the way, wisdom and understanding are the Lord's. They come from the Lord, okay? And they are calling out to the young men, even today, standing at the gate and crying out to the young men to come, you know, listen. You know, but anyway, I, I digress. And so I fell on my knees and sobbing and bawling before God, I prayed for wisdom and understanding. And that's the honest truth. And, and I, I, I remember that prayer. I, rem I was so convicted, you know, uh, that, that at that age I prayed for wisdom and understanding on my couch. I made my altar right there, you know, I, and, and, and my elbows were on my couch cushions. And I was bawling my face off before God, crying out for wisdom and understanding. Now, it's been quite a few years since that time, but, you know, throughout my life, I've had a lot of people come up to me and say to me, you know, Ed, I used to think you were crazy, but now I know you're right. And, you know, I mean, I suppose the temptation to glory in, 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 in that rightness is there, but I want to explain something to you. That rightness is not my rightness. It is the rightness of the Almighty God. Okay, it's not my rightness. It's not. It's not a matter of me being right. It's a matter of the righteousness of the Almighty God. Okay, because I believe that at that age when I prayed for wisdom 
and understanding, the Lord God heard my prayer. Okay? And I have to be cautious with that, because Solomon also prayed for it, and he got it. And to whom much is given, much is required. Okay, this is no uh, a thing to glory in. This is, th th this is no game, people. This is really serious. When God grants you wisdom and understanding, I want you to understand that there is a great burden that comes with that. You are obligated to share what you know. You, are, uh, you don't hide your light under a bushel. No, no, sir. You have to actually, and I'll tell you, it's hard to keep your mouth closed when you know something is right. Okay, and, and it, it, you have the obligation to uh, set the matter straight. It's, it's not easy. And, and when you're a younger man and you know it's true, okay, and the older men don't listen to you, and they think you're being, uh, 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 you know, conceited or arrogant or disrespectful, it, it's hard. It's hard. Anyway, uh, my daughter is up right now. I'll uh, uh, continue another time with this, but... Um, there you go, friends. God bless you. Thank you for listening.